Wow, now this is a situation. So there's a tweet with over 61,000 likes where this Twitter user makes this little meme thing. And the meme is supposed to basically defend LGBT people, except the meme ended up getting accused of being transphobic. So like I said, it's basically been a thing. So you got like on the left, the homophobe stick figure holding up Osaka saying ratio F slur. And then it says, meanwhile, queers, sup, F-slur, what's going on, T-slur? And then you had some of the most liked responses saying things like, I get what you mean, but I'm not letting a cis gay call me that, lol. 21, uh, 22k likes on that one. This one with 22.4k likes saying, the T-slur will never be our own N-word. I don't want anyone calling me that. Those, of course, are just two examples of some of the most liked responses. However, there's a lot of comments basically saying the same sort of thing. And so then a bunch of people start laughing in the comments, basically pointing out how the meme attempted to say LGBT people just don't care what people say about them. And then a bunch of trans people were like, no, you can't say that about us. You can't use that word. So yeah, a lot of people are like mocking the meme now, I guess. So then after everyone starts arguing about this meme, then the OP says essentially that they were just trying to make fun of homophobes and that if anyone is offended by this and they're trans, that they apologize. And then making another tweet that says how this is all so confusing that they're trans and their experiences don't mean everyone else experiences the same thing and they missed a lot of stuff. So yeah, the meme basically attempted to mock homophobes and bring LGBT people together and it ended up just further dividing LGBT people. What a wonderful thing to also happen on Pride Month. Great job, people on Twitter. Great job. Anyways, I'll leave it there. Thank you for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this. And I look forward to catching you in the comments as well as in the next segment.